things moving out there. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regas, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. When we look up at the stars at night, we see the same star patterns which our ancestors saw thousands of years ago and which our descendants will see thousands of years from now. The star patterns we see every night appear to be fixed in their positions relative to each other, but in reality they are not. In fact, all of the stars we see are moving at incredible speeds throughout space in every conceivable direction. But because they're also so incredibly far away, it takes many generations to notice even small changes in their positions, except for a couple of them. But there are a few of those lights of the night that move really fast in comparison to the stars. Their name, planet, comes from the Greek word for wanderer. They appear to be rapidly wandering stars. Let's take a look at three of these wandering stars in our evening sky. Let's start by looking west after sunset next week. And even before the sky is dark enough to see any stars, two bright points of light will appear. The first to appear is the planet Venus. It's actually visible in the daytime if you know where to look. And up and to the left of Venus and appearing a little later is Jupiter. We said earlier that the word planet means wanderer, and you'll have a great opportunity over the next few weeks to see Venus wander and meet up with Jupiter. Let's skip ahead a week at a time and see. May 18th. May 25th, there's the moon. June 1st. June 8th. June 15th. June 22nd, ah, there's the moon again. June 29th, almost there. And finally, the 30th. That's a super scoochie. Don't miss it. Let's go another week and... Venus is leaving Jupiter behind. Notice that the surrounding stars have been staying in formation and only Jupiter and Venus have moved. Jupiter hasn't moved much at all. Let's go back to the skies next week. Venus is now well to the right of Jupiter, but it will soon pass it. Let's find that third bright planet, but we'll have to turn to the east to spot it. We're now facing east, same time, same date, and low on the horizon is a yellowish point of light. You may notice that it doesn't twinkle like the other stars. It's the planet Saturn, and Saturn is the slowest of the planets we can see with the naked eye. Saturn takes nearly 30 years to make a complete circuit around the sky. About halfway up in the sky above Saturn is a bright star named Arcturus. Arcturus is important to this discussion because it's one of the fastest moving stars. And it was Edmund Halley, yeah, the comet guy, who discovered this. Almost 300 years ago, he noticed that the bright star Arcturus had changed its position slightly from its location in ancient star charts, which made him wonder if perhaps all the stars were not as permanently fixed as everyone thought. Of course, he was right, because we now know that all the stars are moving and that Arcturus changes its position among the stars faster than any bright star except Alpha Centauri. But let's show you how to find Arcturus even when Saturn isn't below it. Go outside any clear evening this spring, look north for the Big Dipper, then use it as a guide, because to find Arcturus, all you need to do is shoot a line through the handle of the Big Dipper, and that line will land on Arcturus the brightest star in the constellation Boötes the Herdsman. And once you've found it, think of this. While all the other stars are moving in different directions at different speeds, Arcturus's speed is exceptional. You see, Arcturus is moving at almost 90 miles per second toward the star Spica in the constellation Virgo, which causes it to change its position among the stars one full moon width every 900 years. And for a star, that's fast. So, watch the skies over the next few weeks and see Venus catch up with Jupiter and pass it. And watch the skies over the next 70,000 years and watch our tourists zoom across the sky and catch up with Spica and pass it. Uh, what? Oh, I forgot. You can't do that. So, you'll just have to watch our simulation as you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.